morning, ADN students, ADN faculty, our administration, program director, Ms. Cepeda, and Dr. Minita Ramirez. Uh, it's my pleasure. I'm Provost Vice President of Academic Affairs. My name is Maricela Rodriguez Tijerina. And it's my pleasure to be back as Provost. Uh, I was interim president last year, but I've been Provost since 2018. And Provost is something that I hold very special in my heart because instruction, teaching, I used to be a teacher and I used to teach anatomy. So I don't know, I'm trying to look around and I taught one of you all back in the day. But um, anatomy, as I've always said to my students, if you want to be a future nurse, the challenges with being a nurse is that you have very nice doctors to work with, right? And sometimes they're high maintenance and, and very particular on their techniques that you're gonna have to deal with as a nurse. And then the beauty of it is that when you deal with patient care, who's the one that deals with the families and the patient the most? And it's always gonna be you all. And that's a gift that nursing um, the profession has is that patience, that gift, that careness, that compassion, all of the above. And we saw it throughout COVID who really were the true heroes that were outlined in that whole process. It was nurses and we need more of you all. So I'm very happy to um, have our new class enter and uh, just know that you have a great group of faculty to work with and what I always tell students is never hesitate to ask any questions. There's never a dumb question. It's better that you ask and be bold about it than be in question for the whole semester or for four weeks is, I'm a scientist so I like to ask the why, the why, the why until my brain understands why the why is happening, right? So don't be afraid. That's what we're here for. We've been doing this for many years. Well, I can't pretend to be a nurse, but we've been teaching for many years, so there's never any weird question. Well, there might be weird questions, but nothing pertaining to the content. <laughs> but needless to say, it's a pleasure to have you here. I look forward to working with you all. And time flies, folks. So it may be very nerve-wracking right now, but time is going to fly for you. So somewhere in there in your education, have fun with it, you know? And, and I know it's gonna be very stressful, but enjoy the moment because you all are very special. There was a lot of students that applied and you all were the unique cohort being selected for this unique program. So I wish you all the very best. And it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome our eight uh, official college president, first female official president, Dr. Mini Barami. Thank you, Dr. and thank you all for being here. It's it's really exciting. You all, you and I share something very unique. We're both starting our freshman class, right? <laughs> We're starting together, and it's very exciting to be here and to see your faces. Um, and to congratulate you on your um, on your new adventure. This is going to be so exciting. I, I we just did a uh, a quick video upstairs in in the lab, and to see the the mannequins blink and and talk and cough and vomit and it was quite a, quite an experience. I was like ah. So anyway, it, it's going to be fun. I think you're gonna you're really going to enjoy this. Um, this new journey of your learning life. Um, I, I will challenge you, just like Dr. Marisela did, I challenge you to be inquisitive. I challenge you to be inspired. I challenge you to be the best person, the best nurse, and the best version of who you are. This is an incredible opportunity for you. Um, and today, you have uh, you're being given a, a really um, an exciting start. It's almost like the the you know the kickoff to the football game here because I, I, I'm a football fan. For those of you that don't know, but it is you're actually getting the ball thrown directly at you, and you're going to have the opportunity to run with it. What we're what you're going to receive today 
thanks to TikTok, thanks to a, a wonderful gift that the college received, you're going to get a, a, a gift valued at about $750 to $1,000. If you had to go out and buy your kits, your stethoscope, your uniform, all of that put together, everything that you're going to receive today, it could range somewhere between $750 to $1,000. So this gift from your faculty, from the Board of Trustees, and from TikTok um, is, is to help you get your game started. And so we, all we ask of you is be early, never be late, because if you're on time, you're late. Right? So be early, be ready to learn, be enthusiastic about your learning, and press forward push forward, ask questions, challenge your faculty. They're excited to be here, and we want them to continue to provide you with the best possible care, the best possible instruction. And if there's something that we're not doing, tell us. That's what we're here for. We're here for you. There were, a, and I wanna say close to three or 400 students that applied to this program, and you're the elite. You're the ones that rose to the top. Your applications rose to the top. So be proud. Be proud of what you've accomplished to now and be proud of the person you're going to become thanks to these incredible folks. They're here because of you and they want to see you succeed just like I do, just like Dr. Tijerina does. And we're here to service you. I don't know if you've heard any of the little sound bites I've put out, but estamos para servir. That's what we do, but that's what nurses do too, right? Uh, my mom's 91 years old and I talk about her, uh, her a lot because she's very influential um, in my life and, and, and in Ms. Abeda's life, but she is, I really believe, the greatest teacher that ever lived, but we just went through a bout where she broke her femur and everybody told me she's gonna die because elderly people who usually break their hip or femur at that point, they die. She didn't die. And she has no intentions of going anywhere. <laughs> but I will, she's still working. She runs a flower shop, she goes to work every day. She, she's like all there, thank God. But, but uh, the care that she received from the nursing staff at LMC and at the specialty hospital is what pushed her forward. And most of those people who I spoke to and I, would, I always ask, where did you go to school? Where did you go to school? <laughs> Have you ever thought of continuing your education? That, that's what I do. Uh, all of them came through this program, either the ADN program, the LBN program, or the BSN program here at the Rado College. You have a ready-made job for you the moment you graduate. Because you're gonna get hired, and you're gonna get a signing bonus, and you're gonna get to pick where you want to go and what you want to do. Embrace it, take advantage of it, and be certain that the decision you've made to be here today is the greatest decision you ever made in your entire life because your future is about to unfold. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you much success. I really do. I know that we're here to help you and my office is really always open. Um, you can ask them. My office is really open. Send me an email, call the office. I'll be happy to visit with you. All right? Congratulations and good luck. With us today, we have our Board of Trustees uh, President, uh, Ms. Lupita Cepeda. I don't know if she you wants want not to put her on the spot. But <laughs> These, these ladies have done an outstanding job in letting you all know how happy we are for all of you to start the program. I know we have fantastic teachers. My office is here at the South Campus, so I, I, I drive around once in a while and see what you all are up to. But uh, welcome. Echeme muchas ganas, because you are very, very much needed in our community. And I hope you're all kind of staying right on. I understand and you already want to go out of town. Look, uh, the hospitals are in dire need of you, so 
Uh, they're willing to help you and do whatever they can. Uh, the different I think, hospitals, clinics, everybody is waiting for you. So good luck, wishing you the very best. Thank you. Of course, you all already know her, Dr. Diana Miller, who is a nurse herself and has a, some remarks to share with you. Hello, we're very glad to have you guys. And I know some of you guys have received our letters, you back and forth. Some of you have called us, like, what's going on now? Where do we go? But we are glad you're here, and we're glad you were willing to call to find out information. Even after you, if you got a letter and you wanted to know what did it mean, we're here to help answer it and to answer with you. We are excited about you. This is a journey you're going to be on, and it's going to be for two years. Okay, and the journey, unfortunately, if you talk to some nurses, they're going to tell you you don't have a life during nursing school. Well, part of that is true. However, our goal is for you to succeed. Okay, we would like to see every one of you that have a starting that can make it all the way through. And that it's going to take you being willing to study, to work with us, to ask questions has been repeated several times. The faculty are available to meet with you. Also, they're going to have other areas. We have iPasses where we go over material and have time for you to ask questions and to help you out. So, as everyone's been saying, we're here to help you be successful. Because that's the whole goal. You came into nursing for a reason. You've already chosen it probably many years ago, some of you. That that's where you want it to be. And you're going to find some things are going to be different than what you expected. But that's a good thing. Because you're going to be able to see what it's like to really be there to help people who sometimes just needs health promotion sometimes who needs acute care, sometimes who have Alzheimer's and that you're going to need to help to learn to work with them. Those who are in some of their, you're going to see people in some of their worst times, but then you're able to also see them as they turn through life and you work with them. Each one of you are very special and we do expect to see you at the end of this journey in two years, and then you start your new journey, okay? And there'll be many opportunities for you as you come through our program. We also have the Student Nurse Association that we would want you guys to be part of, and that way you're able to get out there with the outreaches as well, and they go to a variety of activities. So for the kit, we will have the baskets. We're gonna call you up by name, have you to come up. We'll have the president, vice president, and the other president uh, to be there as well, and they'll get a picture with each one of you individually. Okay, any questions? No. Okay, all right. And I'm sure you all know your program director, doctor, who recently <laughs> got his doctorate, uh, Dr. Michael. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, don't forget their names. Hi, good morning again. My, my name is Nancy Vela. Uh, congratulations again. It's a great opportunity uh, as my graduate from Loretta College, ADN, BSN, and now uh, the master's program from Tamiyu, which we want and see everyone to go through all these programs and, and become very successful and work in our community. I just want to let you know and remind you that we are here as a team as students and instructors, so we are here to, to be, make yourselves available and to make sure that you get the, the experience and the knowledge that you need to become a, a good nurse. So As you can see, we have the foundations, we have strong faculty that have a lot of knowledge and skills and support. And hint, hint, we've been uh, number one for five years, so no pressure. Uh, but we want to say the six year, we are, so no pressure, no pressure at all. But it's true what they say, sacrifice today because long term, you'll have a successful career and uh, salaries that will sustain you and your family and 
Don't think about the stress today. It, it's it's gonna pass once you're done, I promise. But, but as they say, it's okay to say no to friends, to family, to quinceaneras. We've all have done it. And it's hard, but you know, it, it's worth it. So I wish you all the very best. And I know uh, Dr. Martinez is going to begin the roll call so we can distribute your kits. <laughs> I spoke to them in, in the morning room. And I introduced myself and again guys, congrats for being here and uh, like they mentioned the why, why are you here? Okay, so it is gonna be a tough two years, like I told you guys in orientation, but we are here. My door is always open. I need you guys in my email. Uh, any questions you may have, come find me um, for anything. If you need extra uh, mentoring, extra tutoring, my door is always open for everything. Put everything aside. You guys always come first. Right? I want you guys to know that. Uh, when it comes to myself and to the faculty and even to Dr. Um, we are here for you guys. All of us are here for you guys. And we really want you guys to understand that. Okay? There's going to be days where you're not going to like this very much. <laughs> but just know that we are doing it because we want you guys to be the best nurses possible. It's hard out there right now. You guys know that. But we're going to get you ready to be the best nurses out there. And I can do this that. We all do. So as I call you, we all can come get your basket. And your I'll picture. ask Dr. Bernides on the other yes. and also kind of, she's going to tell the, the oh, oh, yeah, she'll tell us where to stand. Where are we going? So the first row, you can stand up. <coughs> Congratulations. 
Gracias. Samantha Gonzalez. Katie Soto. 
Natalia Torres. Sandra Ubayan. Chick-fil-A, but before we do, do that, um, if you can kindly um, go outside and we'll take some, a big picture, a group picture on our stairway with all of us here. Thank you. 